okay, which I'll cancel everybody else. So they, they the people have like a selective cancel. Told you was giving you the okay, okay, back to later, make a way. You don't uh, What up, what up, man? It's your boy Onyx Samurai. Just wanted to touch bases on this Chris Brown situation. Not just Chris Brown, Chris Brown and Blueface. For me, just how wild the situation is because there's a lot of people like defending Chris Brown. Which I, I personally believe that cancel culture is kind of stupid unless it's like uh, like something serious. Because you, you don't really know, like, you know, as people, we do a lot of, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to celebrities, we hold them to a higher, uh, to a higher, pet, like on a pedestal, we put them on a pedestal to where when they do something that somebody that you might know does, you don't know the full situation. Like, there's, like I said, it's two sides of every story. And we only know what we know. And then some stuff might come out like in a few years where it's like, oh, she was lying or he was lying or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know everything. And the fact that you can just see a situation and just assume something to me is wild. When Chris Brown got, he didn't even get canceled for real. But when that situation happened um, and then, you know, people found out Rihanna also put her hands on him. So it's like, oh, you know, she put her hands on him too. Verbal fights, physical fights as well mutual sides and this is the first time I get to say anything. So it was kind of like, you know, gotten to dial down after they figured that out. For me, it was like, okay, but y'all cancel everybody else. So they, they, the people have like a selective cancel. They'll, they'll cancel certain people to a degree and then others, they'll be like, oh, well, it would cancel them. And, and then they, 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 everybody just forgets about it in like a month. So it, it's just, it's wild. So when Blueface was like, basically what was happening in the situation, Blueface was like, you know, you just, you did it to the wrong girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't say, girl, I'm, I'm censoring this, obviously. But, like, you you hit the wrong girl. You, the girl that performed at the, or woman that performed at the um Super Bowl. The thing is, girl, you beat up the wrong bitch. Yeah. You got, <laughs> you got a bad judge, like, you feel me? We didn't all get the same judge, Kim. Yeah, I got a bitch, you feel me? She gonna fight back, so I'm gonna get less time, you hear me? You beat, you beat up a, <laughs> yeah, you beat up the wrong bitch. You beat up the bitch that just performed at the Super Bowl. And then he's like. Because it's like, he's, he's basically saying it's like physical abuse in my relationship is fine. And I feel like that's really negative on like just people in general. Because like I said, people hold celebrities on a pedestal. They put them on a pedestal. So like they, they think that that shit is cool. It's not. Dudes be in comment sections like. Oh, uh, let a woman hit me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wish a woman would hit me. Like, almost like fetish, like fantasizing, fetishizing over like hitting a woman. That's, that's wild to me. You know, I just, I'm just trying to touch bases on like how the situation made me feel. And I was just like, well, you know, I just, like I said, I think cancel culture is stupid. Like, you don't know the full situation. Like, you never know the full situation of anything. Fake news is real. Somebody, I'm not saying all of that stuff is fake. Because obviously, it, it's not if they're going to court and processing and all this other good stuff. You got to really, like, take things at face value, not be so involved in celebrities' lives to where you're like, oh, I'm canceling them. You, it, you don't you don't need to cancel. You don't need to deal with them. Like, you don't deal with them at all. You like them for what? The, their acting, music, just, just art in general. Why are you putting the two together? If you like a song from somebody in... You know what I'm saying? Like Beethoven. If somebody who likes, you know, contemporary music, piano, piano music type, you know what I'm saying? Composers and stuff like that. Them niggas was racist. So what, you support racist? I'm not going to say all of them were, obviously. But do you support racist? Because you, you listen to their music? Think about it. That, that just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. So, uh, yeah, situation while uh, Chris Brown, honestly, I wouldn't have even, like, I get what Blueface was saying. Like, why would you say that? It's kind of like corny. I get that aspect of it because it's like, again, why does it matter? What he's doing in his relationship, yes, it's wrong, but I don't see why everybody's always concerned about other people's business. It's strange that, that that's like normal. Like everybody, you could just go on social media and you see somebody's name or a famous athlete, famous person trending, you tap it, you see everybody, you know, commenting on what's going on. And, you know, I guess it is like, the new form of news now, but like like I said, fake news. So you just gotta be be able to take a step back and be like, do I really care about this? Is it like you know what I'm saying? Is it something detrimental to me or my beliefs or you know what I'm saying? Whatever whatever you you know you got going on. Yeah, I appreciate you guys if you you know stick around, leave a like, comment on what you think about the situation, uh, on how you feel about the situation, um, and if you agree, cool. If you disagree with what I said. 
let me know what you disagree with. And if I, if I said anything wrong, call me out on it. Cause like, I'm trying to make sure I'm articulating my words right, but I could be, you know, fumbling somewhere and uh, I will correct myself. And if I'm wrong, I will admit to being wrong. So I have no problem with that. Peace.